Hello and welcome to today's historic best of three deck tech and gameplay video on a list I'm calling Abzan Explorer. Now, Abzan Explorer is at its core an update to an older Golgari game drain combo that I made, which effectively revolved around Veto, Thorn of the Dusk Rose, and Exquisite Blood, and the infinite damage combo that those two cards can create. Now, while the deck still does and will sometimes win with that, we also got a new little bit of tech for this list in Amalia, whatever her name is that I won't bother to pronounce, in that if you combine Amalia and Wild Growth Walker and a form of Explore, basically you gain a buttload of life, explore a whole bunch, which basically creates a loop until Amalia till Amalia gets to 20 power, where Amalia will then clear the rest of the board of any creatures. So not only can you just attack with a 20 power Amalia for a kill there, but if you combine that with like a Dina or like a Veto, you can also get another sort of, not infinite combo, but like a sufficiently large combo that'll kill most people. And we were also able to tie the whole thing now in with Collected Company, which adds a good bit of resiliency in finding our combo pieces and, you know, uh, assembling all of the requisite pieces. And that is the basics of the list. It's basically a creature-heavy combo list that can, even if you don't get one of the couple of convoluted creature combos, you can just beat your opponent down with said creatures. Land base, pretty self-explanatory. I am running Triomes, Shocklands, and one of each of the temples. Normally I'm not the biggest fan of temples, but this is a slower list and is already a combo deck, so we don't mind looking for bits that we need of our combo pieces from the scries. And the sideboard is all equally pretty self-explanatory. We have a couple of Thalias for your non-creature decks of the world, Tainted Remedy for life gain, Knight of Autumn for Usually it is uh, there for like a disenchant style effect. Scavenging Ooze for Graveyard. Boromir for uh, Sweeper Protection. Or it can also be Removal Protection. And we also uh, running two copies of Prowling Serpent Pod, which might seem a little weird. But since the majority of our deck, both combo and just regular creatures wise, are creatures, the Serpent Pod does give us a lovely bit of tech against the counterspell heavy decks like the old, like your blue white controls of the world which you know ha will come up every once in a while so don't sleep on the prowling server pod and we're also finally running two settler wreckage for a one-sided sweeper which is very nice in a creature centric deck but also in defense of the settle we also do have a sort of built-in in theory board sweep with the amalia provided we can get, you know, the explore trigger in the loop that we just talked about earlier. Getting the power up, getting her power up to 20 does sort of give us additional sweepers in the main deck, which is pretty nice. And that is the basics of the list. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you like my grab bag of content and would like to see more in the future. And if you have any sort of questions, like I don't have X, what about Y, I will be honest, the core of the deck is pretty non-negotiable, but things like Jade Light Rangers and Dead Eye Trackers, if you don't have them, you can easily run uh, lower rarity versions of cards that we'll just explore. But other than that, the deck is honestly not very budget-friendly, so do keep that in mind if you go to build it. You will be burning a buttload of very uh, high-quality wild cards. Now... We'll go into game number one. And game number one with our little Abzan Explorer combo list. And this is honestly pretty good. We'll keep this. Three lands, four spells, things to do along the curve. Can't really ask for much more. Go ahead and play the Triome. It's very loud. Let me turn that down. Like a couple notches. Uh, in that case, yeah, we'll just continue on with our plan here. Don't know what our opponent's running yet, so... And really, it, it sort of kind of doesn't matter what our opponent runs, for the most part. We are a combo deck, and we're more or less just looking to find our combo in question. Training grounds? 
Active abil abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. Can't make them free. Huh. It, is it Esper activated abilities? Okay, I'm, I'm in. Um, we'll go ahead and probably shock in, playing a veto. Uh, if our opponent has counter spells, we just they're gonna use them. Especially in game one when we don't have the Prowling Serpent Pod, we just have to make our opponent run it. Okay, Baleful Mastery. Smothering Tithe. Okay, they're starting to lose me a little bit. But okay, I'm still here. Uh, we'll go ahead and shock in Temple Garden. Keeping open the collected company for our opponent's end step. If I can properly set the what's the word the the stops. What the hell are they doing? I love it, but I don't know what they're doing. Collected company. I'd be very surprised. I mean, they might have counter spells. I don't know. I mean, spell burst is fine. We kind of don't mind. Not that I think about it. Uh, go ahead, take your card. That's fine. Okay, their deck is weird, but I'm kind of all in for it. Um, actually, I think we're gonna play a Wild Growth Walker, and then I'm gonna besage you their Howling Mine before they can get use out of it. I mean, they are going to draw cards anyway, but at this point, they seem to be pretty all-in on whatever they're, they're doing. So we're just going to bonk them in the head with the creatures in question. Uh, fucking emergency powers? Why the training grounds? Because if any anymore, that's my question. Like, okay, that's very cool. Gain. Gain drain. Gain drain. I mean... Okay. I mean... Okay, I don't know if I care. I'm gonna decline. What in the, oh my god. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out if I have the combo. Or, I don't think I do. Oh my god, my brain's starting to melt out of my skull. Okay, um... So if we hit, we're at five mana now, goes to six, collected company, could actually, okay, we don't have it yet, but I think we can potentially find it, if not all of it, then a good chunk of it. There's Amalia, and a Veto. So, that's fascinating. I guess they could have a sweeper. I'm actually going to not attack with the Deadeye Tracker, because I want to be able to, if I can, or if our opponent plays two cards, I want to be able to do it at instant speed and like turn the combo on. I'm 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 fascinated to find out what our opponent's doing. Like they're doing cool stuff, but I don't know what their like end game is. Okay. Bowmaster is a thing, it has to be said. You have nothing in your graveyard. I 
hang on. Okay, okay. Just give him all the treasures in the world. I don't think I care about whatever our opponent is doing. Oh, that's right. Fuck. That's really bad. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Let me let me see here. Okay, so um, he's gonna kill. Well, it's beyond the first, right? Am I crazy? We're certainly not gonna pay now. Let me make sure I'm recording, cause my God, I hope I am. Okay, this game is doing it. Okay, so this it'll ping it twice. But they have to have a way to have me draw again to kill it, right? Decline. Resolve. Decline. Resolve. Then I can... We're gonna pay first in case they do something weird at instant speed. I have a Besaidu that I can play untapped, as well as I Ganjo. Admittedly, they probably have... They have to have some form of interaction. So, I, yeah, I'm going to play... I'm actually going to play the Iganjo. Oh, fuck. Did I fuck that up? I fucked that up, didn't I? I sh fucked that up. I think I... I, I might have fucked that up. I think I might need to play the Seiju. But we're going to attack. I think. Oh my god, did I mess this up? I'm beginning to... Th th well, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. It might not matter. Oh my god. What's their win? I have to be honest, my brain has already melted out of my fucking head. Okay, that's cool. I, I don't care. I don't. My brain is over it. I can't do that right now. My day's been too long. What the fuck are they doing? I don't understand. The, their, their deck doesn't make sense anymore. Like, before I thought they were being cute, now I think they're just kind of wasting my time. I'm just going to run it again. I just, I, yeah, I'm good. One of the cons of this deck is that, my god, you have to, like, and maybe it was just this particular game, but, like, your brain really has to be on it. You, this is not a deck I would recommend playing when you're tired. It's just not gonna go well. Two lands, no spells. Just throw it back. It's garbage. Oh, good. A one lander, even more garbage. And because the five lander exists, we're gonna throw the rest of the shit back. Go ahead and try them. We've probably lost, because I don't know what weird fucking shenaniganery they're doing, but they're doing things. Sure, I guess while well, go. Walker, it kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> there was just so many decision points that I immediately just fatigued out. My brain was just like, nope. <laughs> no comprende. Oh, please. Have some some uh, fateful absence or whatever that new map one is. There's something. Okay. They're, they're doing something like I've done. Or I've tried to do where, like, you, like make your opponent draw cards, but like also it punishes them for drawing cards. Which is never good, because you just don't want to give them the cards. And there's an argument to be made that I should have... Oh, right. I don't fucking care. <laughs> my brain is melting out of my ears with this stuff. Uh, you can just go ahead and hit. It's fine. I mean, what do you gotta do? Oh boy, they're gonna draw more cards and do more things. I mean, 
mean, okay, you're gonna make treasures, but like, I have to ask why. And like, to what point? Decline. Uh, go ahead and play the Triome. I guess we'll get rid of the Smothering Tithe. Um. What are you. What? Wait, what? You and Perma control hex prevent all the black and or red sources of the deal. Cool, I guess. I don't think I care, right? Uh, no, nah, we'll just attack with the. Because I think they could double block and make some things happen. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of more so actually want <laughs> the adventure as we just try and dig and find more pieces of our combo. That's a thing. It resolves. They're doing stuff. I, I question what their end goal is. There's also no way in a million years this resolves. But I think we're just going to bonk them down with creatures here. Okay. Drawing a card. And boy, oh boy, you made me give you a treasure. You really showed me? Okay. We're doing things. Gonna decline. Also gonna decline. Uh, in that case, we're gonna play the Amalia and play a Dead Eye Tracker. And just keep on hitting our opponent with our creatures. Um, I'd be very surprised if they don't have some sort of. Oh, Flump. Um, doesn't is well no Flump doesn't work with um Bowmaster anymore because they nerfed that card. Forced fruition. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, that opponent draws seven... God! Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, this, this'll this work. Um, this wasn't the gain drain with, like, a sanguine blood thing that I was hoping for, but this'll do a good job of showing what the deck is trying to do. Where, even if we don't get the old-school sanguine blood kind of drain combo going off, you will now see the we gain a buttload of life and Amalia sweeps the board combo here. And I'm just going to keep the collect company on top so we can just span through the combo. And this will leave our opponent with no board and with us having a 20 power creature in which we just bonk our opponent in. I'm so happy that I've had a moment for my brain to uh, <laughs> regain itself. After it started to melt out of my eyeballs in the last game. I apologize. But if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, when it when it comes to like a lot of <laughs> uh, magic decks, or even videos in general, I'm not the most patient person, but I can try. But, you know, I'm only a human being. And now we wait. Yes. Give me my life. My absolute shitload of life. And leaves me with a big old creature. And we still have a load of... Triggers from the second Wild Growth Walker. And the reason why I'm spamming the space bar, as you can probably hear, is that I, I have to choose this. I can't just, like, let it... There's no quicker way to do this, basically. Where, in paper, this is one of those I could, in theory, just say I do this X amount of times. I'm actually going to pay <laughs> just to, like, not give him spells. And then we just hit him with a big old Malia. Yay! <laughs> we kind of did, like, one of the combos. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um... The deck has a lot of really weird enchantments, so now that I've had time for my brain to rebound, rebound, but I think I'm going to take a couple of Knights of Autumn in, and we're going to cut a couple of Jade Light Rangers. I think that's all I'm going to do, right? Yeah, sure. That, that, 
that, that forced fruition or whatever that card is, I've never seen that card ever. It's fascinating. I don't know if that's good, but it's fascinating. I still don't know what our... I mean, I guess our opponent did show that they also... Besides, like, you know, the occasional... Um, odd creature they could just eventually chip me down with. I suppose they could also have... Uh, what's the word? Pinged my face down. With a Bowmaster! Pardon me. We'll keep this. That's fine. We can do something with that. Uh, no reason to shock anything in. Next turn, probably play a Wild Growth Walker. Now we have a second one, so we even have some redundancy. I think what we're going to try and do is maybe keep the second copy back a little bit. Just in case we need to. Uh, we'll play the Dina now. Have some form of removal, probably. Um... Fairy Mastermind's a 2-1, right? I, all that for nothing? Okay. Howling Mind is a card. Do you, do you have the Mastermind now? This is one of those things where, like... I... Do I just kill him? I think I just kill him. Okay, uh, once again, this is not the Sanguine Blood combo, but now I can show you another one of the combos where it was the aforementioned Amalia combo that we just saw with the Amalia and the Wild Growth Walker and the Amalia getting big. Now, with the addition of like a Dina style drain effect, our opponent should just be dead if they don't have removal. Now, if they do, all bets are off. A counter spell would save. Uh, okay, and then we're just going to be polite and start spamming it through. And now, where before we had an infinite loop, we have an infinite loop plus each time where we gain life as part of the loop, the Dina drains our opponent for one. Thank God, our first game was a little weird in the first one, but I did get to show a couple of the combo angles that this deck happens to have in it. And I'm actually really, really proud of that. <laughs> so now we'll go on to game number two. And game number two with our little Abzan Explore combo. And we play first because we have a brain and we're like three-fourths of the way there. Fuck yeah! <laughs> and this would be a good example where normally in a more aggressive decks, I'm not the biggest fan of the Temple Lands. They're slower, but in this instance, because we're a combo deck and we're just looking to combo off, we don't mind... Quote, you can't see me making quotes, but quote, taking the turn off to, like, look. Since all we want to do is find our combo pieces, any extra little ways we can get that here and there are, are, are very welcome. So, I'm going to go ahead and shock in the Temple Garden. Play a Wild Growth Walker. Um, provided we get land drops, because that's going to be kind of the, the throttling factor here. We'll do the Amalia. But yeah, uh, provided we get land drops here. Well, actually, no, I can just kill my opponent next turn, can't I? If our opponent does nothing, and they're mono green list, even if it's mono green devotion, I don't think I care. I think I literally just play the branch walker, trigger the combo a bajillion times, hit him with a 20. Wow. This might be the earliest I've gotten the combo off on, what, turn three? I guess we'll just shock it in because it's not going to matter in a second. So yeah, just going to get a combo kill on turn three. Thank God. And yeah, now we just kill our opponent. We're going to be polite and, again, spam through all of the 20, uh, or all of the triggers until we get to our 20 power. And this is honestly, like, is this has been a fantastic video. This is, like, a very resilient... I already knew it was a resilient combo. But this... These two videos, or these two games in this video, show how, like, resilient and how quick... And there's, like, different layers and different kinds of combos, so you don't have to be all-in on one thing. 
Like, that was fantastic. Now, admittedly, that's that's not... That game is is not typical. Let's keep it like a... Let's keep it a buck, if you will. This is not a common setup, but it's not, like, so uncommon that it doesn't happen. But you can't, like, go into every game assuming you're going to get this. And honest, now, with all that out of the way, I think I just run it again and just, like, hope we get lucky. Like, I thought this deck was... <laughs> or this deck was going to create a really, really long video, but I might get lucky and just, like, burn through this. Now, this is... This is too many lands. We're totally flooded. That's better. I think we're gonna throw back the Skyclave. Probably gonna shock it into Overgrown Tomb on one. Ugh. Ugh. Oh boy. Okay, there. Well. Upon further reflection, there's an argument that I should have kept the apparition so I'd have some form of interaction. So if I if I lose this game, there's I should have possibly like thrown back a veto or something and just like kept the removal. My God, oh, this is <laughs> our opponent is popping off. Um, I think I am actually going to shock in and play the branch walker. If nothing else, we just need to find more bits of our combo right now. I actually don't want the second branch walker. Uh, gonna attack with our dead eye tracker, because there's no way with our opponents opening that they're gonna block with the, the mana door. I was about to say. Even I know they shouldn't. Okay. You know. If I get really lucky, I think I still maintain the fact that I kind of don't have to care. And yeah, we just like keep shocking our stuff in, doing our combos. Just kind of generally progressing our game plan. I don't need to attack, however. That's that's a, being a little too like like cavalier with my life. But like we're we're getting there. I mean, maybe if they get like an Ugin or something. If they if they if they are running Ugin, that that will suck because that's a sweeper. Okay, what are we getting? Um, I know sometimes they'll get Sky Sovereign, the the five mana Kaladesh vehicle thing. Sometimes. God Pharaoh's statue. I mean, that'll, that'll slow me down. I will do it. Our opponent didn't attack, which is actually kind of great. Um, uh, okay. So we're going to forest. And then I'm going to Deadeye Tracker and see what we can find. Getting rid of their two Storm of the Festivals. One of the reasons why we're getting there. Uh, one of the reasons why we do run the couple copies of the Dead Eye Trackers is because that it is just you know little bits of graveyard hate that are in the main board that you don't really have to sacrifice that much to run it, except for the <laughs> rare wild cards you will 100% have to craft to you know get the thing. I just by some miracle happened to open these things back when like. The game went from beta to, like, actual game, I believe. I think Dead Eye Tracker is a holdover from many, many, many years ago now. And I honestly thought I would have never found a, a thing for it. Sorry? I've never seen this card played in the wild. Two mana, exile this, choose a card name, search target opponent's yard, hand, library of four copies of that card, exile them, shuffles. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so that's how I get rid of... Com okay, that's actually neutral combo hate. Okay, I'm actually happy I found that. They're gonna get rid of Amelia, right? Which actually kills my combo. Cool. To be fair, if our opponent does run a thing like the Stone Brain, then we're we're just we're screwed. <laughs> we just don't have a response to that. I'm actually, yeah, I'm really happy that that happened, just so I can now remember that there's like neutral combo hate. Which is, like, genuinely very nice. 
I don't think I read that card wrong, right? Oh well. Uh, this is a perfectly fine hand. We have things to do. Like arguably, what three parts of our our big four part combo? Uh, we'll take that. I actually, yeah, I probably should have read the Stone Brain a little more. I might not have died immediately, but I thought as I read that it they just get rid of a card. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out, and I'll look real dumb. But if they do it again, I won't scoop this time. I'll be a big, I'll be a big boy and like you know, deal with it. Uh, go ahead and shock in the tomb. Play Adina. We're getting there, man. Next turn, playing a veto. And weirdly, I actually that might have been a bit of a yeah, that might have been a bit of a uh, of a snap. Uh, can see that like actually isn't necessary because I can just like play for the exquisite blood combo I believe yeah I think they are carning or carn boarding or whatever you want to call it probably for the brain yeah upon yeah upon further reflection I can, I can read that card again now actually also Exit so this card, choose card name, graveyard hand, library, up four cards, exile them, shuffles, draws a card from each, exile from hand, swipe. Exile. Yeah, okay, so my I did read that correctly. Okay. Our opponent now that I think about it, we will go ahead and bonk into the Karn for one. But our opponent is gonna have to, unless they're running more than one copy of this in the sideboard, which is possible. Is it exile this card? Okay, no, he can get a second copy of this. Okay. So yeah, they're gonna have to make a choice here about what part of the combo they're gonna try and get rid of. Do they get rid of the Amalia? I don't remember showing them if I had Exquisite Blood or not. But when he searches through my deck, he's going to see that I have Exquisite Blood. So even if he doesn't... Hi, sweetheart. You want to come hang out? Okay. Come sit down. Hang out with the cat, Dad. Um, don't... Don't bump into the microphone, goofball. Little tiny banana. Little baby cat. So yeah. Uh, oh yes, my original point. Even if our opponent names Amalia, they will be able to, at the minimum... Use Karn's minus two to get initial... Ooh, the Wild Growth Walker. They will now be able to use the Karn's minus two to get back the now exiled copy of the Stone Brain. So they do get two uses of picking apart my comp bow. What the fuck are they doing? I... What? Okay, uh, we're gonna Merfolk Branch Walker and start looking for lands. Beautiful. Give me a land, please. Why would they... That's so weird to me. 100% they block if they have a brain, right? Because you want to keep your Karn above... Unless they have another Karn in their hand, I guess, which is a, a, a fair possibility. But I was convinced... If I was... Okay, let me... Let me... Let me retract my shit talking a little bit were I in their shoes I would have just down ticked the car to guarantee get another use of the stone brain as opposed to like now they had to lose a land of war elf to still do that anyway I mean yeah they still have the car but like I don't think it matters it's like eh okay I guess That doesn't... Okay, I might be wrong. Maybe as a person who doesn't, like, play Mono Green Devotion and, like, doesn't pilot it and isn't as familiar with the deck and is only really has experience with it on the, like, on the receiving end of the deck, there are some intricacies I, I'm not understanding here. Why? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um... Guess we're gonna play the exquisite blood now. 
okay, there's an argument that I shouldn't have done that. But if we're gonna... He can just... Cityscape level lit. Okay. He, if I play it, he can play the leveler and get rid of it. I, I suppose... Okay, I guess he's looking for the, the combo. One of the combo pieces. Yeah, okay. <laughs> At least our, we're giving our opponent decision fatigue, even though, once again, my brain's sort of reverting to its melting status. Uh, yeah, we blocked that. Okay. Okay. Deal life. Hang on. Hang on. When opponent loses life, we swing. Explore you gain. So I think I've got it. I think I can do Amalia. Right? Then I explore. Exploring with her will gain me... What? Oh, okay. My brain is not capable of understanding this combo sometimes. I'm not a combo player, if you couldn't tell. Opponent loses life. Yeah, I know, game. Oh my god, this is... Is this is like so much more IQ than I'm like able to muster as an aggro player. Yeah, I've got a timer. Go ahead, run it out. I might have messed that up, and I gotta be honest, I, I'm okay with that now. Yeah, I messed. I, that's fine. That's fine. I messed it up. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. I guess. Cool. Cool. So he's gonna attack and get rid of a thing. I think I've yeah, I've thrown this. Totally. Yeah, these are why combo decks are very rare things for me. That's cool. Destroy a part of the combo. I don't care. I gotta be honest. I kinda What? Sorry, what? What are you targeting? Wait. Did I... Did I bullshit my way into this? Get the fuck out of here! Yeah! <laughs> I fucking bullshitted my way into a combo kill, baby! <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Hooray! This combo's fucking idiot-proof. And I'm the idiot! That's the funniest fucking thing ever. That's better than if I would have gotten the combo, like, the fairway. <laughs> it's fucking idiot proof. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy fucking shit, that's really funny. <laughs> that's the funniest fucking end possible. Holy fucking shit. Oh, man. Never punished. <laughs> I fucking idiot proofed the combo. Oh my god. So if you are like a dumb dumb aggro player like me and just like can't intellectually manage it sometimes. Uh, or sorry, can't intellectually manage combo deck sometimes, then do I have the combo deck for you? It's idiot proof and it's still pretty ag aggressive. Aggressively based so you can always just, you know, beat your opponent up with cr the creatures themselves. And not only do you just get fair and square combo kills like we've seen in the uh, past games, but you can also have dumb, dumb idiot ones like this one, where if you're an idiot like me, you can somehow fall backwards into a combo kill, which is might be the best end to a video I've ever done so far. Holy hell. This deck is awesome. Uh, I suppose I would say I would 100% be willing to uh, revisit this list in the future, Although, again, I imagine it'll be a while before this particular deck gets more combo pieces. Anywho, 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. If you like it, subscribe. If you like my grab bag of content and would like to see more in the future. And uh, again, if you have any questions about, say, card replacements, you got to be honest, this deck is not the most budget-friendly. So do keep that in mind. It is a hell of a lot of fun. It also has to be said. Anywho, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, remember also to uh, stay warm out there since it's getting pretty cold. Uh, bye bye